everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, Cricut Blanks, uh, their newest like line of home decor ones. This is a pillow sham blank that's an 18 inch by 18 inch pillow. I'm going to show you how to use infusible ink um, to basically create pillows for your deck. And I love that farmhouse style feel and like having farmhouse style pillows. So I'm going to show you exactly how to make them. They also are coming out with a ton of new infusible ink sheets. Um, I'm gonna use the Buffalo Check version of this and I'm gonna show you how many templates they have online that you can basically make any type of pillow you want to. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So my style is cottage, farmhouse, neutral vibes and um, I'm looking for like farmhouse style uh, pillows and designs on Design Space and they have a ton of stuff. What I did was I went ahead and created a new project and then I uh, went to images and looked for farm and you can see a ton of different stuff that's in here in their library that you can use especially if you have their subscription you can download a lot of these uh, with your paid subscription so all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project just show you exactly how I'm gonna do this here and click on images and I'm gonna look for welcome farmhouse all right so then what I can do is I'm going to click on this, hit add to canvas, and then what you can do is just resize as needed, um, and then you can change the colors if you wanted to as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just ungroup real quick. Um, hit ungroup, and then I can change this like to the same color if I wanted to, um, and like see how this moves around. I can delete things if I wanted to. Um, I can delete the hearts, you know. Um, so I'm going to hit Control Z if I wanted to kind of change up uh, the design at all. So then what you want to do is um, go ahead and click on Make It when you're done setting it all up the way that you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure the layers all say Cut, 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 Perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, hit Attach, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Make It. I'm going to go turn on my maker real quick just so that you see it. So now, um, if I wanted to kind of change the design up uh, for the other colors, sorry for hearing the cricket in the background, but if I wanted to change um, the leaf background instead of having one color, I can hit cancel and then go in here and hit um, detach and then change up the color of this to let's say, I don't know, it doesn't matter what color, as long as like the color that you're, the, the reason why you would want to coordinate is to make sure that it reminds you what color to choose, but uh, because I know purple is going to be the pattern color and then this green is like the black color, I can basically set it all up that way. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just click on attach. Well, I don't have to cl click on attach. I'm just going to go ahead and hit make it. Okay. Um, and then you can see it comes into two pieces, as you can see here. And so um, what I like to do is whenever I um, click on attach, especially if you have two different pieces, when you click on attach, it'll literally have the pieces like separated out in the different positions. Otherwise, if you don't attach it, then what happens is that these two leaves will uh, be optimized so that it uh, uses less uh, material. So depending on whether or not you want to save material or if you're okay uh, with having Cricut position so that everything lines up the way it's supposed to without you manually having to intervene and uh, basically do the weeding and then trying to figure out the position um, that you then don't you'd want to use the attach in uh, the scenarios where you don't want to position okay so then what you want to do is click on this mirror icon right here see that it mirrors it it might be better if I showed on here um, because obviously with um, this Cricut machine, then it'll allow you to basically uh, mirror it so that when you weed it and you place it on the actual material, it then faces the right way. And then you can click on continue. It'll try to find uh, the Cricut maker. And then what you want to do is choose browse all materials and then you can choose infusible ink sheets ink transfer sheet right there and you can save it as a favorite if you wanted to and click on done and then go ahead and follow the instructions on how to basically set up and load your mat. So now that I have my design on the computer here, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this infusible ink sheet onto uh, that mat. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and put this sheet on there just like this.
I'm gonna take this burnisher, I think that's what it's called, and I'm gonna go ahead and just smooth it out just like that. And I'm going to feed it into here. This is my design here. I went ahead and flipped it and I'm going to actually cut out the little leaves and they're actually going to be buffalo check. While that is cutting, what you want to do is go to Cricut Heat Guide and check out to see what heat um, you should be putting your heat press on. And I have this heat press. I also have another heat press in the back there that's tied to my Alex cabinet. Um, this easy press is really easy just to maneuver around and um, just if you wanted to quickly go ahead and start a project in your kitchen or like in a playroom or in the living room or somewhere, um, it's really easy to get out. Whereas my big machine isn't really easy to move and it's also attached to my Alex cabinet so it's harder to maneuver around. So the easy press is really awesome in that you can just move it around wherever you want to craft. Okay, so if you go to Google and search Cricut Heat Guide, the specific words, uh, the Cricut Heat Guide should appear at the very top. And what you'll want to do is go to Heat Transfer Material and select the transfer out material. So in this case, I'm doing an ink transfer sheet, uh, which is the paper, the ink um, marker on copy paper that's literally using a pen on a piece of paper um, that's a, that is an infeasible ink pen or marker. Um, that you're drawing on and then you're putting it on the um, material but instead we're actually using the infeasible ink transfer sheet and then the base material is um, the they call it the blank um, it's also called the base material um, this is going to be a pillow cover and so um, you can choose if you're using the Cricut easy press mat which we are and click on apply and then once you do that you can see that the um, uh, it says to preheat for 15 seconds, which means that you'll want to press on uh, the pillowcase for 15 seconds um, and then set the setting to 360, 120 seconds um, for each of them. I know that with my um, like a regular press that I have, it normally takes about, um, I think, half that time. It really depends on the machine. But for specifically the Easy Press, um, it's 360 at 120 seconds. And then the Easy Press mat. So going from your table up you've got the mat right on top of your table then inside of your pillow cover you have a white cardstock and then after that you have the design face down after it's been weeded you'll have butcher paper or i have teflon paper and then the cricut easy press that's literally the order that you put it in um, it tells you exactly how to uh, prep it the application for it literally it's 360 at 120 seconds and just be sure you're not moving it around because then uh, the design can smear all right, and tells you how to care for it. And that is really how you place it in order. Trust me, it'll get a little bit easier once you kind of figure it out. And it kind of shows you the picture here, right? So it's got the mat, the pillow with the pillow insert, then the, um, the material you just cut, which is the infusible ink, and then Teflon just to protect the sheet. All right, so now that it's all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and choose infusible ink transfer sheet. And that's just fine blade kit. And then we'll go ahead and hit the C button. Okay, so what you're gonna do is next, you're going to want to uh, weed around this. All right, so I've gone ahead and cut part of it off and I'm going to weed it just like this. Um, it is a little bit harder to weed than normal vinyl, but um, it's because it's like paper-ish. Can you see that? It kind of has a thickness of paper. So go ahead and weed that. You gotta be careful so that you're not tearing it. All right, so that's what that looks like. Okay, so next, the goal here is to put this on the actual pillow. All right. All right, so this is what the pillowcases look like. Okay. All right. All right, there's only one pillowcase in here, okay? So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these little sticky things. Cricut has a heat guide website where it will tell you which blank and which uh, transfer material that you want to use and give you the actual heat that your easy press should be set to. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the temperature to 385. And all I do is I hit the little temperature button, 385, and then the time it says is 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna wait for it to turn green before I start actually pressing it. All right, 
So there's that. And then it's going to come to temperature. It's going to come to temperature and then that's when I'll start using this. All right, so a little bit about infusible ink sheets. Um, whenever you open it up and you actually look at the sheet, what you'll find is that the color is a little bit more dull than what you see on the outside. And that's okay because whenever you actually put the infusible ink sheet onto whatever your material is, the color, I promise you, will be a little bit more vibrant. So let me go ahead and open this so you can see what it looks like. So this is an actual new um, infusible ink transfer sheet. This is the plain version, okay? Open it up, all of them come wrapped with this black clasp wrap, okay? And then go ahead and open it with scissors. And you might wanna keep the black plastic wrap because you might not use all of it. And you'll notice, see how this one looks brown? This is supposed to be black, okay? And it's because when it transfers over to the material, it'll be a darker color. Okay, while that is cutting, I wanna talk about um, the heat press mat. This is the heat press mat um, so that if you wanted to get the easy press, this is the mat that's kind of heat resistant and um, you basically put it down and then you put your actual material on top of it and then if you want you can use Teflon on top of that in order to get a really solid press. So now that I'm looking at the site and it tells me what the stacking order is. So first off what we're going to have is the easy press then butcher paper. So there's butcher paper that came with it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this Teflon and then the design face down and then the pillowcase. And inside the blank, I need to have white cardstock and then the easy press mat, all right? Um, so I'm gonna lay this down and then I'm gonna get cardstock inside of this. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my cardstocks here. All right, so as you guys can see, what I'm doing is um, putting in the cardstock inside of the pillowcase, and then you can see that the easy press mat is right on the bottom of that. And then I'm going ahead and then just like pressing it for about 15 seconds. I sped this up quite a bit actually, um, but just wanted to iron it all out so it's nice and flat. And what you don't see me in this video that I would recommend you guys doing is using like a lint roller and just removing any lint um, that might be on there uh, because this is a new uh, material that I just got out of the packaging. I didn't do that, but in the event that you store like your blanks somewhere, go ahead and make sure that you have a lint roller around. And as you can see here, um, I'm taking photos for the blog, but as you can see, I just put um, the weeded uh, infusible ink sheet um, on there. And I'm now putting the butcher paper on top of the infusible ink uh, for 120 seconds. I would recommend actually getting Teflon um, if you can, uh, just because I just feel like it's a little bit more um, durable. I don't know why, but the butcher ink paper is pretty thin and um, I'm not too sure about it, but it did work for this project. So, because the easy press is way too small in terms of real estate, so I had to put it on the top and the bottom of the pillowcase so that uh, both parts of the pillowcase would get the infusible ink on top of it. Okay, right, so I normally stock up on these IKEA pillows. They're about like $5 each, so they're a pretty good deal. And what you wanna do is actually, whenever you have a pillow, here's a tip, you want one that is two inches on either side that's bigger than the pillowcase. So this is an 18 by 18, 18, by 18 inch pillowcase. You want a 20 by 20 inch pillowcase. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's gonna fluff out and go ahead and put that in here. Tag facing down. And this pillow should poof up. It's been kind of stuck in there for a while. And there you have it. It's a pillow for the outside. So, so the great thing about infusible ink is that it there's no raised area. So you can see here that there's no raised vinyl. It's all embedded into the actual material. So that's what it looks like. And you see how vibrant that color is now. So that is what infusible ink looks like. 
So this is the Cricut um, blank that is a pillow. It's, again, it's 18 by 18 inches. Um, it works really well with the infeasible ink line. They keep coming out with different uh, types of blanks and it's just amazing how their product line all comes together. So anyway, if you guys want to go ahead and if you want to go ahead and check out this project and also a link to this actual uh, design here because I didn't create it. It was in the Cricut library. I'll go ahead and link to that. Um, but it is awesome and I love how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my sofa.